Hi, this is Ryan Neal from the USA offices of Neal Saddlery and Harness, Cowboy Sewing Machines, and High Tech Sewing Machines. And today we're going to show you an operational video that shows you how to operate the new Cowboy Outlaw uh, hand operated leather stitcher. So what we're going to do is I've already got two pieces of approximately 8 to 10 ounce leather in this machine. I've left the bobbin case cover off the machine so that you guys can see the action of the shuttle hook that's in the, that's in the machine here. Uh, and that way you can get a feel for how things work underneath the sewing machine as well. So um, what we're going to do in order to insert this material into the machine, what we're going to do is you're going to pull on this lever. And if we can have the camera show that as you push on this, this brake lever, so to speak, it's going to have the effect of lifting the presser foot. Now what you're going to do is you're going to insert your leather into the machine, you're going to let go of the handle, and it's going to push the presser foot down onto the leather. From there we're going to grab a hold of the top and the bobbin threads, and we're going to hold those threads off to the right hand side at the 2 o'clock position. I do recommend uh, wrapping the, the thread around your fingers because it does have a tendency to want to pull the thread out of your hands as you make that first stitch. So you're going to hold the top and the bobbin threads off to the right hand side at the 2 o'clock position. Hold them fairly taut and you're going to do that for the first two stitches. And um, I will also mention that as you pull down on this handle, the handle uh, on this sewing machine, or, the, or I should say correct operation for this sewing machine is dependent upon this handle making a full revolution down and a full revolution up. You can't take you know, seven eighths of a revolution down and seven eighths of a revolution up or the machine will bind. So I always tell people to run the machine as though they're angry at it doing authoritative pulls up and down for the handle and that's going to ensure correct operation for the machine. So holding the top and the bobbin threads off to the right hand side we're going to go ahead and take our first couple of stitches and now I'm going to let go of those threads. I'll reposition the leather so that it's nice and straight and we'll continue sewing down the piece. And now we're ready to make a turn on the sewing machine and unlike other sewing machines in which you would bury the needle down into the material, on the Cowboy Outlaw instead what we recommend doing is lifting up on the presser foot with the needle out of the material, making a turn, and then dropping the needle down by positioning the material manually for where you would like the next stitch to go. And then once we have that set, we'll set the presser foot back down and we'll continue sewing. And now we're ready to make another turn. And so what I'm going to do is manually position the material for the next stitch, which looks to be about right there. I'm going to go ahead and continue sewing. Okay, and now we're ready to extract the material from the machine. So when you extract the material from the machine, you need to make sure that the handle is in its highest position. You'll lift up on the presser foot handle, and you'll go to pull the material out of the machine. Now as you do this, it sometimes helps to rock the handle because you're creating slack by virtue of the thread take-up lever. So if you rock the handle back and forth, you're creating slack so you can pull the material out of the machine. And then we'll go ahead and trim our threads. And you can see here that we've got some very nice stitching um, on the top side and also very nice stitching on the back side. The stitching is pulled up uh, very tightly. So uh, this would be a, a rough demonstrational video um, on how to run the Cowboy Outlaw uh, hand operated uh, leather sewing machine. Uh, one other thing I should mention in the video is that if you do, if you do wish to do stitch length adjustment, on this machine because you do have the ability to go from a big stitch to a smaller stitch. If you wish to increase the stitch length, you would want to, tight, you would want to tighten this uh, small uh, knurled thumb nut, um, but do it in very small increments. So you're going to tighten this, uh, you know, if you wanted to get a little bit bigger stitch, maybe tighten it a quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn, until you see the stitch start to get a little bit bigger. If you would like to have a smaller stitch, you're going to loosen this handle or loosen this knurled thumb nut. Um, again, this is opposite of what we have on some of our mainstream sewing machines, but just remember that if you want a bigger stitch, you're going to tighten. If you want a smaller stitch, you're going to loosen. So, and then, of course, when you're operating the sewing machine for safety purposes, we do recommend that you place the bobbin case cover on the sewing machine so that you don't injure your hands because you do have a tendency to have pinkies dangle down when you're holding the material and so forth. So we do recommend putting the bobbin case cover on the machine when you're operating it. So, uh, again, this is Ryan Neal from the USA Office of Neil Saddlery and Harness, Cowboy Sewing Machines, and High Tech Sewing Machines. 
If you have any additional questions on the Cowboy Outlaw, please feel free to call me directly at 330-692-1418, and I do thank you for your time today.